this will be the last Excel exam. Um, we are looking for uh, this is Excel chapter 3 1B. Again, we we'll go with the renaming convention. Roz is a sales associate for an electronic store called Speaker Box Electronics. She is conducting a detailed analysis of her sales for the first half of 2018, including graphical presentations in this for the, of this information. Switch to 2018 Jan June sales. Okay, and then remove the panes from the worksheet. Freeze rows one and two. Select cell A3. Go to freeze panes. And you'll see, here we go. Alright. Change width of column A to 35. Do not use auto fit. Select the range B5 to D5. Get B5 and auto fill the rest of it. There we go. All right. Uh, let's see here. In cell H6, H6, create a line spark line. It's going to go data. Line spark line and do it for this three right here. And in auto fit, auto fill. Okay, we're going to do it H10 too. All right. Using the Format Painter, copy the formatting from the range G6, G10, so G6, and we're going to paint, there we go. Copy the Contents from B to B5, G5, B5, copy, and we're going to put them in B12 to G12. Apply the percentage number format with zero decimal places to the range B13 to G13. And the non-adjacent B33. Apply, okay. Select the merged range A5, A15 to A27. Rotate the cell content to zero degrees.
in the stack column chart that would be this one add the primary auto add the axis titles horizontal will be month vertical will be sales amount In the stack column chart with the monthly sale with the title monthly sales per item, change the number format of the vertical axis to accounting style with zero. In the 3D style, in the 3D pie chart, change the chart style to style 7. Add data labels to the 3D pie chart using outside end. Roz wants to calculate her gross monthly sales. The rule is that she gets to, okay, in cell B31, we're going to use the if function again. If B10 is greater, than 8,000, 80,000, then B10 times 0 0.35. If false, B10 times 0 0.27 autofill in cell B32 create a form interform that multiplies the value of B31 by cell B33. Make B33 absolute. So we can go equals um, B31 times B thirty three. Autofill. In the range 831 to 832, update the spark line. Change the spark line type to line and the spark line style to dark number 4. In cell in the range A31 to A32, indent cell contents once. In 
And so B not B thirty nine. Hit go seek. The value to thirty thousand. Use B thirty six. Uh, so you're going to have to humor me for a little bit because I just found a mistake of my own or I'm trying to figure out how they got their but, but their score their calculations are not adding up to what I got and so I need to go back to this number 31 which will be a if statement so in cell B31 we're going to do a if statement if B10 B10 is greater than 80,000 B10 greater than 80,000. So 8, 1, 2, 3, 4. Then if it's true, B10 times Zero point zero three five, and if false, B ten times zero point zero two seven. Ah. There we go. Found the problem. Okay. So now let's do our go seek. Right, for some reason. Alright. Now we'll do the go seek. So, uh. Number 39. Let's try the go seek now. Go seek. And let's see here. Goes like 30,000. Uh, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, and this year should be B36. And let's see if that adds up. Still not right. Be thirty nine should be thirty thousand. That's made net commission. Okay, uh, we we'll got that right. So let's go back here and check my numbers. Okay, let's see here. Zoom in. I want to zoom in here a little bit so I can see my. Maybe I'll see more. Uh, Oh, too much. Ooh. One more. I 
Okay, a little bit better. Okay, still something not right. Okay, that's right, that's right. So why is this wrong? Oh, I know why. Here we go. Bingo. Now let's do the goal stick again. B39. Data. Goal seek. B. 36 30000 zero, 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 zero. and bingo all right glad y'all were with me through this so now we got the go sick one done let's change add the date here they're wanting the now function Change the short change the date to short date. Use the recommend charts tool to create a cluster column chart based on say ranges A thirty to G thirty two. A thirty where's A thirty? A thirty, A thirty to G thirty two. There we go. Now we're going to create a column chart. Recommending charts. Custom column chart. There we go. Move the chart to its own chart and enter the sales commission. So we're going to move chart to a new chart. And change the title to And we're going to add axis titles. Horizontal will be month. Axis title will be commission. Or the vertical axis will be commission. File. Save as Exit and Submit. Uh, this was the last Excel one, and you got to see what it's like to troubleshoot as you're going along because you have to figure out what's how you've made mistakes, and this here was a good opportunity for you to learn and, and to observe. So, I hope you get a lot out of this video.